Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey, and I've just published the third free update to my Ultimate Unity Overview course. It adds six more lectures covering more features and tools for a total of over 15 lectures. This is a completely free update, so if you're already on the course, you already have access to all the new lectures. And if you don't own the course yet, you can get it with a link in the description with a nice discount. This update is really important because it finally adds the most requested tool in all of the course comments, which is addressables. This one is an excellent tool to give you more control over memory usage and loading times. It's absolutely essential to make your game feel nice and snappy. And related to that, there's one lecture on how to use addressables remote, meaning how to grab them from your own server or really any server. And then a third lecture on how to use it along with Unity's official CDN called Cloud Content Delivery, which can be used with or without addressables. Then also three more lectures on some more obscure topics that you probably don't know about. One on dynamic resolution. This one is how you can dynamically lower or increase the resolution as things in your game become really hectic in order to keep the frame rate nice and stable. Then one lecture on the build size report. It's how you can easily identify what assets in your project are taking up how much space. And one lecture on Unity authentication, what it is and how to quickly get started. This one is a must for interacting with the various Unity gaming services. Those are the six new lectures added in this free update, added on top of the other 50 lectures. This course is all about teaching you the various tools and features that Unity has, some of which you might not know about and could greatly help you on your development journey. In total, there's now over 50 lectures, each covering a different tool or feature of the engine. This is a great way to quickly get up to speed and become familiar with all of the tools and features that Unity has, which can help you be much better at building your own games. Learn all about making shaders in Shadergraph, 3D modeling with ProBuilder, playing videos with the video player. Learn about visual scripting, assembly definitions, render textures, the grid system, text mesh pro, and tons more. Chances are that in this course you might find some tools and features that are part of the engine that you didn't even know about, which will greatly help you in your development journey. This update is the third of many free updates. My goal with this course is to update it over time as I explain more and more tools and features, so let me know in the Q&A section which ones you're most interested in so I know which ones to prioritize. And also, I'm always available in that Q&A section. I answer all the questions every day, so if you need help with any of these tools and features, post them there and I'll do my best to help. One last thing, please make sure to write a review on the course. This is a unique new format, so I'm really interested in hearing what you think of it. Personally, I think this is an excellent course format, and I look forward to updating it continuously over the next months and years with many more tools and features. Reviews help the course get more visibility, and they help me understand what I did well and what I could improve, so I can continue to make better and better courses for you to learn from. Alright, so go ahead, join me on the course, and let's learn more about Unity together.